eight hour for the Allied Airborne Army, making final preparations for its invasion of Holland, the greatest operation of the kind ever undertaken. Gliders standing ready in massed rows are loaded with all the paraphernalia of war from the air. Men engaged in the great enterprise exchange a few cheerful words before takeoff time. One of the paratroops slips on his harness, while others, soldiers of the sky, go to their waiting gliders. One last job remains, to fix the tow rope. It won't be long now. Engines flutter into life, and the great Sky Armada is on the move. Aircraft of many types share in the task and the honor, including RAF Halifaxes, Stirlings, and Albemarles, British Horsa Gliders, and American Wakers. Passing over the coast, only a short stretch of water now lies between them and the continent. A great umbrella of fighters provides cover. Beneath them glides the coast of Belgium, the last few miles to Holland lie ahead. From a liberated Belgian town, an army film unit cameraman took these spectacular shots of Dakota troop carriers passing overhead. The townsfolk sense that another invading force is bringing liberation to a neighbor nation. By an amazing chance, one Dakota in crash landing hits a German panzer tank and bursts into flames. On goes the Sky Army, over that flooded country inundated by the Germans. The gliders cast off and swoop groundwards to Holland. Like khaki dolls dangling from multicolored umbrellas, the paratroops go down to battle. The gliders resemble flies on a flypaper. They leave a deeply scored trail where they came to rest. The troops from them are scoring a deeper trail still, a trail that leads to Berlin. Berlin.